The Big Bang Theory, once considered the cornerstone of modern cosmology, is now being re-evaluated in light of new discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope. This powerful instrument has captured images that are not only visually stunning, but also deeply thought-provoking for scientists around the world. These images are challenging long-held beliefs about the universe's origin, structure and expansion, causing a stir in the scientific community and reigniting debates that have persisted for decades. Among the most impactful of these findings is an image that has sparked renewed discussion among astrophysicists. This image, more than just a remarkable photograph, may help resolve some of the deepest questions about the cosmos. It has provided new data that contradicts certain aspects of the Big Bang theory, which has dominated cosmological thinking for over a century. The theory posits that the universe began approximately 13.8 billion years ago from an extremely hot, dense state and has been expanding ever since. It remains one of the most influential frameworks for understanding the universe's origin, yet the new observations are forcing scientists to revisit its assumptions. One major focus of this discussion is the age of the universe and the rate at which it is expanding. These two elements are critical to our overall model of how the cosmos operates. For years, scientists have relied on the Hubble constant, a measure of the universe's expansion rate, to determine both the size and age of the universe. But calculating this constant has proven far more complex than originally thought. There are two primary methods used to estimate it, and the results from these methods don't align. The first method is based on local measurements. This approach uses standard candles, astronomical objects like Cepheid variable stars and type Ia supernovae, that have a known brightness. By comparing their observed brightness to their known luminosity, astronomers can determine their distance. Measuring how fast these objects are moving away from us allows scientists to calculate the Hubble constant. These local measurements suggest the universe is expanding faster than previously believed. The second method involves observations from the early universe. Scientists analyze the cosmic microwave background, or CMB, which is the afterglow of the Big Bang. This radiation has been traveling through space since the universe was only about 380,000 years old. Discovered in the 1960s, the CMB has been instrumental in shaping our understanding of the early cosmos. By examining the minute fluctuations in temperature and polarization within this radiation, Cosmologists can infer the universe's age and rate of expansion at that time. However, there's a serious issue. The results from local measurements and those from the CMB do not match. This discrepancy is known as the Hubble tension, and it's become one of the most significant unsolved problems in astrophysics today. If both measurement methods are valid, it suggests that there is a fundamental aspect of the universe we are missing or misunderstanding. Scientists have worked tirelessly to determine whether the disagreement stems from observational errors, misinterpretations, or a deeper issue within our theoretical framework. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope enters the picture, with its advanced infrared capabilities and ability to observe distant objects with unmatched clarity. The telescope allows us to peer further into the universe than ever before. Scientists hoped its data would help reconcile the conflicting measurements and refine our understanding of the Hubble constant. But instead, the first wave of data from Webb has only deepened the mystery. The results continue to diverge from what was expected based on previous models, suggesting that our understanding of cosmic expansion may require a fundamental overhaul. These findings are prompting scientists to think beyond established theories. The discrepancies might point toward new physics, undiscovered particles or forces that could reshape our understanding of space and time. They may also indicate that our current model of dark energy, the mysterious force believed to be accelerating, the expansion of the universe, needs to be reconsidered. Every time we uncover new data, it pushes the boundaries of what we know and forces us to reassess our theories. Take, for example, the discovery of the cosmic microwave background in 1965, which provided compelling evidence for the Big Bang theory, before that, many scientists believed the universe would continue expanding forever at a steady rate. However, the observation of accelerated expansion in the late 1990s 
introduced the concept of dark energy, a force that acts in opposition to gravity and causes the universe to expand faster over time. This was a major turning point, demonstrating that even the most trusted theories must adapt when faced with new evidence. Today, scientists are dealing with similar challenges. Each discovery raises new questions and forces a comparison with previous knowledge. The process may be complex, but it's also incredibly rewarding. Confronting problems like the Hubble tension compels researchers to develop better tools, refine their methods, and explore new ideas about the universe's past, present, and future. Another crucial concept closely tied to Hubble tension is what scientists refer to as sigma tension. This deals with how matter is distributed throughout the universe. When astronomers observe space, they see that galaxies aren't spread out evenly. Some regions are packed with galaxy clusters, while others are nearly empty. Understanding why this is the case can help us trace the universe's evolution over billions of years. To investigate this, scientists use a technique called gravitational lensing. This occurs when massive objects like galaxy clusters bend the light from even more distant galaxies behind them. This bending effect helps astronomers detect dark matter, an invisible form of matter that doesn't emit or absorb light. It reveals itself only through its gravitational pull. Gravitational lensing gives scientists a way to map the distribution of dark matter across the universe. They also turn again to the CMB, which contains information about the earliest fluctuations in matter after the Big Bang. However, a new problem has emerged here too. The irregularities predicted by studying the CMB do not match the large-scale structures observed in the present-day universe. In particular, the gravitational patterns we see now suggest that matter was less evenly distributed in the early universe than the CMB data implies. This inconsistency again points toward the possibility that there's something missing in our current understanding, perhaps something about the behavior or nature of dark matter. A research team led by Adam Rees explored whether the differences in measurements could be attributed to errors in the Hubble Space Telescope's data, but when they used the James Webb Space Telescope to check, they saw the same inconsistencies. This raises an even more concerning possibility, that there is a fundamental flaw in how we interpret cosmic observations. In an interview with an E. American Astronomical Journal, Rees remarked that somewhere between these two methods, local and early universe measurements, there may lie a key misunderstanding that needs to be uncovered, thanks to the James Webb Telescope's precise infrared. Imaging researchers are now able to observe objects at much greater distances with improved accuracy. These capabilities help refine the measurement of cosmic distances and further highlight the discrepancies between various methods. But the new clarity has not brought harmony to the data. It has only made the contradictions clearer Meanwhile, the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy remain at the heart of modern cosmology. These two elements are thought to make up most of the universe's mass energy content, yet their true nature remains elusive. While black holes were once thought to account for many unexplained gravitational phenomena, more attention is now being directed toward how dark matter and dark energy could be influencing the behavior of galaxies and cosmic structures. Our search. For answers continues, and each new discovery reveals how much we still don't know. But that's what makes science, and cosmology in particular, so powerful. It's an ever-evolving journey, where new tools like the James Webb Space Telescope not only provide data, but also inspire new questions. The universe is vast, and its secrets are slowly coming into focus, but with each answer comes a new mystery to explore.